In this video, I would like to tell about the cyberbullying detection in social media using supervised machine learning and NLP techniques. Then we are going to see about the abstract that is the overview of our process. From the day internet came into existence, the era of social networking spotted. In the beginning, no one may have thought internet would be a host of numerous amazing services like the social networking, right? Uh, today we can say that online applications and social networking websites have become a non-separable part of one's life. Uh, we have to analyze the cyberbullying case is difficult task for large number of data in social media. That's why we have to overcome these difficulties. Uh, dif difficulties uh, for a large number of data in social media by using the machine learning algorithms. Uh, yeah, here we are implementing the machine learning algorithm uh, such as uh, Navis bias uh, to detect social media bullying actions. Uh, um, uh, in our process, uh, the main objective is to provide an innovative strategy that enable fast and accurate detection of cyberbullying is then to effectively classify and predict the data and to enhance the performance of the overall predictions. Uh, many people from diverse age groups spend hours daily on such websites. So uh, in our society, so many people uh, are using a uh, social media. So that's why we have to choose uh, choose and identify the cyber attacks in social media okay then we are going to oh, this is a flow of our diagram first we have to take the data set that is the data set name is cyberbullying data set it is taken from the data set repository then we have to input data uh, we have to take the input from the data set after that we have to implement the pre-processing step in this step we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary noise from the input data in this step we have to handle missing values then label encoding uh, handle missing values means we have to check the any missing values is present in our input data is there any input values are there we have to replace the missing values by zero or none values uh, uh, why we are using handling missing values means to avoid the wrong prediction after that we have to use label encoding to encode the uh, data into label that is for example our data uh, our data set contains so many columns uh, one column contains a string type we have to encode this thing into labels that is integer value after that we have to implement the sentiment analysis in this step to analyze the sentiment by using the nlp techniques nlp techniques means natural language processing okay mm after that we have to implement the vectorization in this step uh, we have to vectorize the uh, pre-processed data that is we have to uh, split the word split the sentence into words by using a count vectorization okay then after that we have to data splitting in this step we have to split the data that is uh, uh, data splitting is the act of partitioning the our input data into test and train uh, test is used for predictive the model and train is used for evaluate the model uh, we have to split the data in the form of uh, ratio that is 30 is to 70 i mean 30 is present in test and remaining 70 is present in train smaller portion only smaller portion of the data is only present in test part and uh, uh, most of the data are present are stored in train pod after that we have to implement the classification algorithm in classification we have to use navy spires with the help of navy spires we have to predict accuracy the accuracy in a sense it is the overall prediction of cyber bullying and it display the output in the form of accurate uh, in the form of percentage so this is the our flow of the diagram okay now we are uh, 
going to see the output part that is our demo part that I will run our process here we are running our process in spider IDE from Anaconda Navigator after running our process I will explain the I will explain the output part ok it's on running ok our program is successfully run just I will explain one by one ok this is our data selection ok sorry so this is our data selection that means this is our input data I will uh, I have displayed some samples of input data from our data set after that we have to check the total number of data set so this is the uh, total number of our uh, total number of rows in our data set we have to split the test and train I already said in training part most of the data are stored in testing part smaller portion of the data stores right over here in training part only 15,000 data from total number of data so remaining data will be in the test part uh, uh, you, I hope you will uh, see yeah, you see the uh, difference between training and testing number of rows after that we have to implement the classification algorithm that is navis bias uh, in Navi by using navis bias we have to achieve the 82 percentage accuracy so this is the classification reports with the help of navis bias uh, we have to find some uh, performance metrics uh, such as uh, precision recall uh, f1 score and accuracy accuracy is means uh, overall prediction and precision recall f1 score also is some of the metrics uh, uh, we have to just call the first we have to call classification report function it will display precision value recall value and f1 score value precision means uh, how many instances are relevant instances means rows and columns and recall means how many instances are selected then f1 score means averages uh, between precision and recall finally it display the support values after that uh, we have to display some of the visualization graphs so this is the total number of tubes uh, 0 means cyberbullying and 1 means non cyberbullying tweets so just it will display after that we have to find sentiment analysis right so this is the visualization for sentiment analysis so this is our output part this is the output thank you